What is going on guys, Premier Game Man. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Man of War a very overpowered gun and showing you the best class setup for it. So basically this gun is has slow fire rate and you want to make sure you play defensive, uh, kind of hold back, not just rushing straight to the enemy team. So the class setup I've got here is, obviously you have to choose the Man of War. I've got the beautiful gem combo, looks really really good and looks like the Dark Matter combo which is the best combo you can get in the game. So now first you want the elo sight or the red or the reflex sight. Basically you want the sight because the iron sight on this gun is pretty bad and they will it's bad to have a uh, if you have a sight on it, optic. So you can obviously aim better and get the enemy. Now you wanna have grip because this gun kicks up a lot because of the slow fire rate and high damage so it kicks up a lot. You wanna have that you wanna have a high caliber so you can because the gun keeps keeps kicking up a lot, you wanna have high high caliber so you can just get the headshots. So just uh, shooting the body. Next, you wanna have rapid fire. Uh, you can have rapid fire, or you can have stock. But I prefer to run rapid fire with it because um, obviously the slow fire rate. So a rapid fire will give you a lot more advantage. Or you can use stock to move about and adjust your aim and stuff. That will make it easy to kill the enemies. So next, you wanna move on. You wanna have no secondary. You wanna have a trick mine. So you can basically put it there and then. Um, no, you want no one can shoot from the back or just chuck it anywhere so you can get free kill. And then for the first perk, you know, you use flight jacket so you don't get bomb blasted by any other, you know, enemy. Then you want to just scavenge This gun runs off ammo really quick and you want to make sure you use the gun. Then, third perk is using task mask, tactical mask. Sorry, so basically, if the enemy stuns you, nothing will happen to your screen. So, uh, this kind of like helps you because the gun is already slow, the movement is slow. So this will help you from this will help you basically win gunfight have uh, advantage over the enemy over the person. The gameplay you see you're seeing at the back is actually really clutch gameplay. I as you can see our team was losing 140 for 177 and uh, somehow we managed to win the game. You know, last second we capture B, then we capture we capture A or C, and then we capture all three of the flags, and then they were like 195. And then we somehow win the game and the guy was actually like so annoyed in the enemy team like how can we lose this game we're winning we're doing so good so yeah in this game i do get wraps on the red it's really good as you can see i'm just absolutely beast and feast this gun unfortunately here yeah, i die <laughs> i thought he's gonna run across but no so in this gameplay i wasn't using the exact setup i was just you know testing the gun out to see which uh which set to saw the best and how to play this gun and I pretty like at first I didn't like this gun, but now after using it a lot, I I, I would say this is one of the best guns in the, the game. But then again, Treyarch balanced the gun out so well that uh, they're all good, you know. At this point, I was like, nah, we're gonna lose much, leave it. As you can see, the score 195, 157. And I was like, let's just capture it because we already got the other two, and let's try to keep it. Here, I capture the flag and I'll try running around, try keeping them off this flag. And my team really did a good job keeping them off other flags, so that was good. Now I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay because the gameplay is actually really good. I get the wraps as well. So yeah, watch on and tell me below, comment below what your favorite gun is in Black Ops 3. Like the video and subscribe. I will see you later.